Hello everybody, so uh, this came to my attention today, I was flicking through YouTube as we often do, you probably do yourselves if you're listening to me prattle on, um, uh, and I, a video from Raptor Bacon I believe it was that flashed up with Lorne's new RSO pick, so of course I looked at it and it seems, to, to, I mean <laughs> let's just give a bit of context here right, a, f- a fucking registered sex offender has his photo updated <laughs> And <laughs> some guy thousands of miles away makes a YouTube video. It's like, what the fuck? It's just such a strange situation. And do you know what else occurred to me as well? Oh, and I might have touched upon this before, as I probably have. Is that this guy is a registered sex offender, right? Which is the only thing he's known for. But there's potentially, you know, there's a very, very strong argument out there that he's never had any sexual contact at all. <laughs> it's like, just, what, what a crazy legacy to have. It's like, it's just, it's just unthinkable. It's like, registered sex offender. You, you're on the re- sex offender registry your whole life and you've never even had sex. <laughs> it's like, oh, what a, oh my God. Anyway, it's it's crazy, isn't it? What a strange situation. Uh, I mean, I don't. I was gonna say, why would you turn up to your RSO photo with a crazy fucking stupid blue vest? But then again, does it matter what you turn up to as long as you don't turn up naked masturbating? That may cause a few issues with regard to your, you know, conditions, shall we say? Um, Not that turning up masturbating has got to do with your fashion attire, but of course, I was saying turning up naked. Naked? What the fuck's that? Never mind. Um, Anyway, yeah, so bad choice of fashion. He doesn't look good, does he? And considering everything he's been through in the last 12 months, one would certainly think not. In fact, when when did he get locked up for the first time? Hmm. Wasn't this early, was it? Um, But it wasn't... You know, within the last 12 months, he's been catfished, obviously, I would imagine. Um, I think, was he going through the... I think he was still being spoken to this time last year. Um, Then he got locked up. Then he went to court. Then he lost at court. Then he went in prison. Then he got out of prison. And, um, you know, I believe he's living in the same area now. But... He just, like, there was, there was always a smirk on his face, wasn't it? You know what's weird about his face, right? If you look, like, where his left eyebrow is, the, it, the, 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 the right side of his face is in, increases in volume, which is obviously the left side of his face, but if you look at it from, uh, you know, where you're looking at it now, the, the right, the, let's just say, the left side of his face increases in volume. It's like he's lopsided. Um... It's like, can you imagine having to pose for your RSO photo? It's like, imagine the photographer. Big smile, Lauren. Come on, man. Let's see some of that aggression coming out there. Come on. I want a real sexy pose there, man. Come on. Come on. Let's let's see the rage, the the alcoholic sex offender rage coming out of you. Come on, man. Just imagine Kyla. I mean, Kayla is set there. Just imagine she's set right there, naked, with Miss Vagina looking at you. I want to see that. You know, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, what would you fucking do? Oh man, it's like it. Stupid thing. Um, it yeah, it's it, it, it's just baffling, isn't it? It's like um, <laughs> you imagine being the photographer. <laughs> of course, it's not going to be set up like a studio, but you've got like that's there's a lot of comedic comedic value there isn't there a lot of comedic potential you've got rape class rso photo booth you know fucking hell we could just if i wasn't so lazy i could make a fortune writing sitcoms not that i'm mega lazy like lauren i do hold down a reasonable job and whatnot but i could be more productive as we probably all can you know um yeah so yeah, because, like, there, were, there used to be, like, a smirk, didn't they? In fact, have I got one of his old photos? Just one sec. Right, so, let's have a look at a previous one. I think this was from about two years, about 18 months ago. 
the, uh, the signi- now the the thing is it's difficult to tell because of lighting, uh, the quality of the camera. Uh, but if you're gonna look at this photograph, which is the recent one, it's like I don't know whether it's the camera or what, but there looks to be a lot of discoloration in his face. He doesn't look healthy. So like some kind of strange just on his forehead. I think it's the I think it's just the quality of the photograph. Actually, I don't know what it is. It's not very good, but it it, it just doesn't. He's a lot. Of, he's very pale. Um, he doesn't look well at all. Um, and if you look at this one, there's a lot more colour in. He's even he's even got more of a a firm smirk about him, like a, a aura of not. I was gonna say an aura aura of um. The word I'm looking for, kind of assertiveness, like he's he's it he looks like he stood up straight, you know, like more. I was going to say erect then, but I don't think Elon's ever been erect. Um, you know what I mean? Stood up a bit straighter. Like, but on this one, oh, this one, it looks like he's slouching a little bit. Like he's not, his posture's not as good. So in this one, there's more, there's a lot more colour in his face. He looks like he's got, there's more weight. It looks like he's lost weight here. If you look at his um, his cheeks, there's not as much fullness in them. And even his lips as well. It's like, I know he's, he's just, he just looks like, I mean, time, it's probably due to the time he spent in, 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 uh, in prison. Because of course, when you're in, I don't know how much outside time they get, but I don't think he had a particularly good time, but one thing's for certain. You're gonna. There's gonna be a massive vitamin D deficiency. Uh, one would certainly assume, and because of the area in Libs in Maine, which is fucking beautiful, um, he will be spending a lot more time outdoors. So if you look at this photograph, that is the reflection of someone who's getting fresh air. Maybe that you know, and and, and some sun. Maybe that's a factor. Um, in fact, if you look at like his neck. Yeah, it's just, it's just. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's not looking good at all, is he? He, he looks like a broken man, doesn't he? And of course, one would have a tendency, at thinking about his past and everything he's done, to feel a sense of justice. Of course you know, the situation he's in is all his own doing. As much as I harp on about him not having free will, which from a certain perspective is true. It's all about perspectives. Um you know, life is tough and we all have to endure hardship to get to any level of, of um um contentment. And he's not really done that. He kind of tries to do it, but he doesn't really know how to go about it. He does it all in such a selfish way that it ends up being completely fruitless. You know, he doesn't get it. He's just totally selfish and, and, and fucking stupid. And it ends up resulting in that, you know. If you see the situation, in fact, let's have a look under his... It just doesn't look... It could be the lighting... But you can see there's just so much colour in his face here. What's f- this photo is funny because it looks like he's wearing just p- a potato sack. So it's like Cletus. Look at the pointed hair, little girl. <laughs> uh, that was a shite Cletus impression, that wasn't it? Um, he looks like Cletus off the city. You know, like wearing a sack. I mean, what the fuck is that? But there's a. He doesn't look as pissed off here. There's a certain tiny hint of a smile. There's nothing there, is there? Of course, you're not going to be happy when you're going for your RSO photo. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, what a humiliating thing to have to go through. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so. It'd be funny if we could, like, have a montage, wouldn't it, in a few years' time and sort of see the decline. Do you know what I mean? Um because it's going south quickly, isn't it? It's like there's just no, in his current state of consciousness, in his current mode, in his state of mind, 
there's no happy ending for him. There's no, you know, what what's he going to do? You know, you can only plot and scheme and be that stupid and selfish for so long until you cause your own annihilation. Which, of course, we know he's on a path to destruction. Um, as many people are in his situation, you know, it's like, it's like I've said, the the, the 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 position he finds himself in is very difficult. It's ridiculously difficult. It's all his own doing. So, you know, he'd have to kind of live off the grid or find some kind of purpose. And of course, the alcohol thing doesn't help. The, the, you know that that there's no chance of growth if you're using alcohol as escape because you you know we all know you're not facing up to your demons and your problems and and all that and. There's no, it's like people at work, I speak to them and they're like, when they finish the shift, they're like, yeah, yeah, fucking get a bottle of wine and have a few beers, it helps me chill out. I, I've i never been like that because it's, a, it's cheating in a way. I'm not judging anyone, but if you need a drug to deal with your anxiety um, and forget your problems you are cheating really it's not you you need him stimulation from an external source in a way you need a drug and it's not that's what he's done all his life you know specifically since he's coped he mentioned it in the chat log i'm sort of going over his alcoholism now which i've done but we can always go over it again can't we um he's always um even mentions it in the whole alarmography how he drinks t- to block out things, um, and that's continued from when he got out of prison because obviously he's got a lot to deal with. He's got his, you know, his, his kind of failure as a person. The fact that he's not got anybody, doesn't have any real friends. He's an RSO, doesn't have a career, doesn't have any money. You know, it's it's like his best years are behind him. It's like, man, can you imagine being in that position? I mean, ah, oh, fucking hell. It, it's just like you could almost understand him being on a path to destruction um because what choice does he have from his perspective you know because it'd be an awful uh, you know I, I can't imagine what it must be like but but that's karma that is the consequences of his own actions and his own behavior and his own decisions he that has now manifested in that that you see on your screen do you know what i mean it, there's a tragedy to it of course you know what i'm like with you know i don't believe in persecuting people well it depends what you mean by persecuting but you know life itself is its own judge and jury and executioner you can feel a sense of justice if you like but there is a tragedy behind any human being ended up like that. You know, what a waste. Do you know what I mean? It's like, he's always had the opportunity to do better. But he's always chose to do the wrong thing. It's like, I don't think he was ever going to make president. But he could, could have at least had a productive life. It's like the videos are done in the past where I point to various things that have led him down that path. And, you know, I know people in my own personal life that have just gone off the rails and turned into wankers. Do you know what I mean? Just turn into unpleasant people that you don't want to be around that didn't used to be like that. And what's happened is they just, they face challenges, whether it'll be the loss of a, you know, like a, a, a loss, the breakup of a relationship, a loss of a job, some kind of physical ailment. And all it takes is a few wrong decisions that not necessarily evil decisions. It could be something as simple as using alcohol to cover up your problems and that will spiral out of control you get addicted to drugs or alcohol and you will if the addiction becomes too strong and you lack support or the necessary wisdom to overcome it you'll then spiral into darkness and you you will become an agent of evil if you will and and it's you know good people can end up like that we can speculate as to did we ever believe that lawn was good you know i don't think that he was evil as he was a two-year-old but you know when when did he really fell off the rails it was suggested in, i can't remember i apologize you said it it was a, a good comment in one of the last videos that it could have been when he uh uh when he joined the uh, thought was it the, some kind of military uh, 
forces, um, the Air Force, I believe, and he dropped out because that structure and that discipline could have been something that he needed. Some people need that. It's fantastic that some people can gain great um, self-esteem and discipline and, and get something out of... It's like, this is an extreme example, but David Goggins, like, when he joined the you know, became a Marine, it's like he had a really tough upbringing, and that shaped him into what he was, without it, who knows what would have happened, there's so many people, um, and he, you know, he fucked it up for whatever reason, and then his life's just spiralled, there's no purpose, you know, no direction, um, never seems to have had the right people, he seems to lack a certain degree of intelligence, which means he's been manipulated, he's obviously got strange sexual proclivities, shall we say, <laughs> um, fucking hell, all this from one poxy photo, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, so there we have it, today is the day when, I, well, I don't know whether it went up today, it's not like I check his the red register every day it's just like i said it just flashed up so i thought you know what let's do a quick video uh and have a look but let's shall i um see if i can f see if we can speculate more on the actual photograph um i mean there's not i'm not an expert on doesn't his nose look bigger no is his nose like changed its shape or is that me or is it the lighting? Hmm. It's definitely like a real change to the complexion of his face. It must just be the weight thing. If you look at his cheeks, they're proper filled out there. If there's such a droop, there's such like a droop there. It's it's almost like his age, like five years. There's like some massive health problems. Has that been taken? You know, it's like this slow decline. It's like, what the fuck is going on with him at the minute? You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Interesting. His ears, his ears seem weird as well. Like, his left or his right one seems like bigger and fuller than the other. Oh, Lord. What a shame. Anyway, leave me any comments, guys, that you think. Something that you've picked up on. Not being a, um, a biologist and not able to make such... Um, educated visual uh, assessments on someone's health that, that you know I'm sure there's um, someone in the chat that knows more about these things have a look at that photo please tell me what you reckon um, apart from the obvious things like the discoloration and the weight and things like that you know and the lack of smile and whatnot uh, let me know uh, I'll speak to you soon